All right, folks, working on a 2012. It's a Nissan, it's the Rogue. It's got the big 2.5 and the uh, airbag lights on. So this lady stopped in with it a few days ago and um, it loses connection with the driver's side airbag here. Oh, they're tamper-proof Torx. And I checked it out and it has a bad spiral cable so the clock spring if you will or a spiral cable whatever you prefer to call them has an intermittent connection in it depending on where you turn the wheel and then it loses connection and throws the code so we have a new one here from Nissan Just trying to see here so we have to pull the airbag out to do that there's a couple little plastic tabs on the side of the wheel over it looks like it's a tamper proof Torx bit that's what we're gonna find out here I think I think it is yes sir I don't know what size it is a T30 I believe and a tamper proof which means it has the hole drilled through the middle so if you got one of these you can take out a Nissan airbag and a uh, toilet stall if you feel inclined to do so I think there's just two of them here That's what that screw looks like. I don't think you can see it, but it has a little Loctite on it. And then once we get this off, we should be able to pull the steering wheel off, take our column covers off, and get to what we need to get to. We did unhook the battery, safety third. that one and our airbag module should come out here and then there's gonna be a couple wires here on the back side well several wires I can't really put you guys in a great spot so you have to stay in that spot but you'll see what's up one big gray connector here let's see if we can't uh, release that we did and then we have our two airbag connectors. Oh, my eyes aren't doing good this morning. We should be able to release the latch here in the middle of them. All right. Yep, so yeah, we released the latch in the middle. I don't know why this one didn't want to come up. That's how these ones usually work. There we go. Once they're up, we can pop both of them out and then very carefully go set it somewhere. You have to be that careful. A lot of people kind of get freaked out about them, but think about it, man. You're driving down the road and that thing's 10 inches from your face at all times anyways, so it's getting a whole lot more jiggling driving down the road. So now we need probably a 17, I'm guessing, or a 19, and then uh, something to pull the steering wheel off. So let's go get that stuff. Oh yeah, first try. 19 must be. What's that baby tweet? I got you guys right in the way. So before you pull a steering wheel ever, look to see if there's a mark on this one. There is. Got a mark on the shaft and a mark on the wheel because sometimes they're not keyweighed and you can put them just any old which way. Let's see if we have enough lead in our pencil to just give her a little wiggle today. Yes, sir, we do. We don't even need a puller. Now, when you brought the guns, oops, try to set the light so we can all see. I'll try to keep you guys there as long as I can, but. Probably make sure our steering wheels are straight ahead and they are straight ahead. 
don't want to make that mistake, do you? Pull them babies through. There we are. Here's our little clock spring. Okay. Set down the little steering wheel. Put your steering wheel puller away. I even bought the wrench of croissant. But we don't need that, do we? We need to know how these cone covers come off. And it looks like we got some screws up under there. Some Phillips screws. Or maybe they're JIS, who knows? Who can really tell the difference? Let's see. We're gonna go with your classic numero 2 I don't know if this will get up in there or not. Yes, it does. Here's one of them. Another hole here. Got to be one up in there somewhere. Yeah, little fella. There's that one. Get that wiggle. Another hole down here. Ooh, that's a deep one. Feels like there's something in there. There's that one. Another hole here, but I don't think there's anything in that one. We'll get that little feel. Nothing. Now, here comes the part where you gotta turn off the camera because you might have to, you know, do what you gotta do. We got some separation over here. Usually column covers, you give them a little one of these, they'll pop apart. See, just like that. We didn't even have to turn off the camera. We'll slide that one out. I don't know if we have to take the knee bolster off. Got a little trim piece here, it pops off. I won't hold that thing on, but not much apparently. What holds that on? Not much. And then, well, then we've got a little keyhole. I don't know if we can get around it without pulling the lower trim piece off here. Oh, look at that. Well, looky, looky. We didn't have to tear it all apart. Okay. Let's set this stuff to the side. Now, let's see now where we have. I don't think it's too difficult from this point. The hard part's over. <laughs> All these other switches hook into it. Okay. So a pocket screwdriver here and start unplugging some things. Got a plugger there. Can't unplug that until it's detached. Also, we got a plugger up here. I can't see. <laughs> I think that's a little tab there. My sight's dwindling, folks, by the day. And it looks like maybe a couple screws down through the middle is all. Well, we'll take some of these out and we'll see what happens. And get on to it. Yeah, that feels a little wiggly over there. We'll do this one right here. Uh, let's see. Oh, that's wiggly there. And then it feels like there's a little tab up here holding it. Get that a push, 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 push. There it is, baby. So, screw in there, screw in there. Now there's a couple connectors at the bottom that we have to undo. Now, I have no idea. This guy doesn't have a clue. Let's see. It looks like it must be a release tab here. 
to give her a little push. It's kind of on an angle. It's kind of kind of funny, but not funny. Let's see if we can't go like this. Click. I was gonna say click your screws, but never mind. We gotta get our screws out. No, oh, apparently they're staying in. And how on the thunder do these connectors come undone? Looks like you gotta do the gray one first. Apparently. Apparently. Come on, little gray one. There. Well, that's quite the old connector. There's the gray one. You really gotta push that sucker down. of a design there's that they should make a car like this with if you drive it like this you know like a motorcycle let's go get a new part there's our new part right from Nissan stick that baby there the screws are in it so apparently they just stay now apparently we need to take these off they got little pinchy tabs on the side you just pinch them little fellas and then they must realign with the connector I hope oh look at that lines right up and then this one again little pinch tabs and then you just guide me in baby there it is see then and then if you remember right the yellow one Oh, this is like Tetris down here. The yellow one went in first because it came out last. And then the gray one. Or so I thought. Nope, maybe it wants to be a jerk. Well, we don't want to break it, so we're going to take the yellow one back out. Maybe they go in together. That's a weird one. Let's see if we can couple them together first. They kind of, they kind of get snuggly here. Have to kind of look at it. It's been you know almost 30 seconds since we took it apart. So that one was like that, and this one was like that. So do they cuddle? Do you make them cuddle first and then put them together? Understand. Why won't you latch together, fella? Slides down. Okay. Oh, I see. So then they're kind of. Maybe you're supposed to do one and then the other and then pull them out together. I did look in service data, folks. I don't remember coming across anything like this, anything special. They certainly will not slide in together. So that's not helpful. Let me go double check service. I just don't want to break the connector. They do latch together. They have that little gray latch right there. But you can push that in and disconnect them. Well, I didn't think this was going to be the hard part, getting a connector together. I would have thought. Yellow went in first. Okay. Yellow has to go in first because of the way that these lock. The yellow one goes in, then the gray one slides into it. But it has a latch on it right here on the side. that you can release down through here. So perhaps we put the yellow in, we go to put the gray in, but then we have to push back the release tab here to get it passed. Let's try that. Always something. Yellow, enhance. I didn't have any other word to say. 
and we'll push this one in but then we'll reach in with our special tool push the gray tab over boom they made that simple how are you supposed to know all of this crap that's what I want to know I'm pretty sure it wasn't in service data and then this clicked in clickety clack don't talk babe where was that plugger oh you idiot must be the uh, steering angle sensor is not part of the new one here's a guy who should have made a better observation I'm just making sure it fits before I put the steering angle sensor on see, see the difference here Charlie Brown yeah yeah what's all this stuff maybe I don't want to know um, let's get a little Phillips head because our steering angle sensor clearly needs to be installed you'd think for the half a bazillion dollars that sucker cost it would have came with one all right let's see here we got a little screwdriver we don't need the big one I brought both of them usually the OEM stuff comes complete I didn't even pay attention there's one obviously I didn't pay attention we don't have to state the obvious Well, there, baby. There's that one. Stick that in their fingers. We'll get this one here, so we'll have to go through and relearn the steering wheel position when we're done, it looks like. Pretty sure I read service data on this. I don't recall reading anything funny. No kind of funny business. So that has a notch that it lines up with right here. The smaller of the notches lines up with there. The bigger notch lines up there. And we did have our wheel straight ahead still. So we didn't give that about 600 different spins. And the new one is locked in the straightforward position. So we'll just kind of line that up like so. Like it so. Oh, I see it has a little standoff peg it sits on too. And then we'll put the screws back in it. Get them little fellas lined up. We'll just get it started and we'll finish her off here in a minute. Let's see, right down yonder. I done do that connector, but it was such a rigmarole getting her together where. We're just gonna leave it together. It's like hanging a caliper by the brake hose, you know. People are twitching on the other end. <laughs> That's right, don't worry, it's not that heavy. We got that one started. Let's see here. We're making a video before you say anything you shouldn't. Is three or is the, tomorrow afternoon okay for the part you ordered on the repair link, or do you need to see from Hazleton's? Chevy? From Rock. Simmons Rock. I went to Simmons Rock. Oh, what, uh, for which vehicle? I don't know. You just said there was no wanting to know the ETA. This morning you sent in the repair link order? Mm -mm. I, I didn't send any repair link order in today. Hoffman just called and said we're not getting our order today. So it would be, if Simmons Rockwell calls and says we're not getting our order too, then that'd be just great. Well, what is the order for? There's that one. There's a valve? That. Is that what you said? Oh, yeah. No, it's for, uh... yeah, we're good. He, no, yeah. Okay. yeah, tomorrow's fine. Okay, that's fine. Good. Yep, All of our OEM parts okay. orders are screwed up. Perfect. Hey, if Napa calls and says we're not getting any parts, that'll be all three places we need to get parts from today. And they're school today, so. Well, there should be because we got a half an inch of snow. 
Everybody needs to calm down. I had to stop because I got behind a bus on a downhill and had to slow down and all that snow. Shh, all came off your roof. You could see it coming, so I was pulling over as it was moving. <laughs> and I was like, oh dear. You gotta kick your wipers on at the right time so you can poof, heave it mm, off. It was heavy, heavy snow. Oh, stand by, folks. I just let my truck run long enough, all that crap melts off. Yeah, but I have a van, so there's a lot of snow up oh. there. Yeah. Yeah, it's kind of annoying when you rip up to a stop sign and that all falls off on you. I was hoping to get out on the... I like it when it blows off and a big sheet and hits the car behind me. <laughs> <laughs> That's not funny. I know. It, get, it gets people going, though. Something fell out or blew off, uh, some big old ice truck blew off a uh, tractor trailer. Yeah, you got to be careful, man. Somebody down hit the some, highway, yeah. Yeah, they hit a bridge joint in that hole. They got 50. It sounded like it did some damage, but it didn't. Yeah, 52 feet of ice sheet on top of them things. Yeah. Well, I guess that's tight enough there, folks. There's that. Oh, there we go. Then we plug her in. I have a hard time seeing today. No, so I'm doing a lot Just of this. Just today? Just today? Yeah. Are you tired today? No, I came into work early. You didn't even know I left, did you? I knew you left. You knew I left? Okay. Yeah, you weren't there. <laughs> oh, well, I didn't think you heard me. Boom. I heard you. I didn't think you were there. You were downstairs. You didn't hear me. Uh, I guess that's it, folks. The spring of the clock is in. This is your lock tab here. It keeps you from just twirling around. So we'll leave that on momentarily as we reinstall plastic bits slide that over so we up to are you tired <laughs> no but i got your cold did you mm. enjoy that for the next week no I'm, I'm so it'll probably be two or three for me nah yeah all them vitamins and stuff you eat it'll be like two or three days i'm just not as sick as you i was sick kind of not really i mean it was just I'm a man, so when we get sick, it's more like, I'm sick, I'm a baby. <laughs> <laughs> if I'm being honest. If this is what you had, you shouldn't have been whining. Oh, no, what I had was much worse. Oh, I don't. I was flirting with death. <laughs> yeah. That's what it felt like when I'm working and dealing with the public. That's what it feels like when I feel good, I guess. Oh, <laughs> You don't sound as sick as I was. I uh, know, because I'm not whining. You were to be like, I need help. I think I need to go home, I'm really sick. No, I never went home once. I, I, I stayed here sneezing all over everybody's stuff. <laughs> <laughs> I'm helping to build immunity throughout the community. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's the thing. I didn't feel good though, I'll tell you that much. And it was from that one lady that came here. Twice. <laughs> Sneezing all over my stuff. I'm sure. That's all right. Look how much stronger you are now. Yep, I'm stronger. And sneezier. What the heck? <laughs> I left the other ones loose so this one wouldn't be such a big deal. I don't even know if I'm in the... Yeah, I'm in the hole there. Um, I don't know where it goes. Let me take a look over here, folks. I'm going to stick my head in front of you for a minute. Oh, you know why that one doesn't go in? Because it doesn't go there. There's no corresponding hole. The corresponding hole is on here. That's why. And this thing goes back on there. One way or another. I know it just, oh, <laughs> perfect. I was going to say, it just kind of fell off and it just kind of fell back in. Sorry, you sick for real. Uh, yeah, I'm for real have whatever you had, but I don't know why you were whining for Should, real. Shouldn't have been kissing on me. Oh, that's how I was the first day. I was like, oh, this is, the this first ain't. first day. Yeah, the first day I was sick. I was like, oh, this ain't a big deal. Mm -hmm. Oh, what's all I'm whining about? Next day. Oh, man. Next day, I'm 
eating all your vitamins you're giving me, drinking water, sweating it out, waking up in the middle of the night soaking wet. I better just go home so I don't get sick like that. Yeah, I know, because if you're sick, our whole family dies. If I'm sick, you just get a new husband. Oh, please. <laughs> I'm serious. <laughs> We're men. We can't live without our so women. I better go home and have a day of rest. You can. It's almost the weekend. It's Tuesday. Yeah. Almost the weekend. Tomorrow you'll be another day closer. What are you saying? I can wait till the weekend? Yep. I did. <laughs> oh, There's boy. that one. There's that one. She is tiger tight, folks. Remove the piece. She probably wants this thing back. I never forgot to put one of these on our uh, wires through. And then there's a little peg back here. This little peg goes in that little hole. Wow. Wow, what? Is that really <laughs> profound? Well, some people don't know. Yes. And then line up your slot. Your what? The slots up here. Oh, I think it's a slot. Slot. No. I don't know what that was. The slot, the little mark on the shaft with the mark on the steering wheel. Get a nut, put it on. Why not? These nuts. Is it, it doesn't work with just one of this. Give that one snug a dug -a. it wasn't very tight coming off our wires ran through there and this is where you're gonna want to be quick what's the money in the cup holder for it is was it was laying on a seat right is got. that your tip this was all <laughs> laying on the seat folks i was gonna steal it but i didn't <laughs> i hope she ain't looking for it because it was literally laying right here on the seat when i got in the car this morning uh -oh. so hopefully she's not missing it so we're gonna plug this thing back in. This is where it gets really dangerous. If this thing pops, you want you want yeah. you want to move your hand Bye. like this. It's not gonna pop, Vanessa. Uh, you said it. I don't think it's gonna, anyways. Nope, not yet. And nope, it didn't pop. I was ready though. I was like, ooh, I was gonna be like that. You guys won't even see me. It just. Yeah. Roll it around town. Make sure your wires aren't pinched in there. You can see them. Kind of look back behind there. Everything looks good. Nestler down in its little nest. Get out your Torx, tamper proof. Toilet stall Torx, I call them. I don't know why they tamper proof toilet stalls. Is that really a problem? Do people. You know, they use all the one-way type fasteners on it. Every time I use a public bathroom, I think about that. Like, is this is this really a problem? It must be. So we're going to put the screws back in this fella. I'm not going to tighten that up until I get the other one in, just in case we got to give it some giggles. But I got to say, they must... They must use the tamper-proof stuff in toilet stalls because at some point it was a problem. There's obviously a problem with the water because you got the little faucet. You got to push in and then wash your hands really quick, and then push it again. So clearly, there's some sort of issue with people in toilets. Put that on back to this one we're going all the way folks there's that one ready to ready to impact there we go that's it hook up the battery take care of our tools so our code that b1049 is now a past code oddly enough on Nissan you need to clear the code get the light to go out which is kind of weird 
usually airbag most airbag stuff is kind of self-clearing so the light just went out now i need to see where we can redo the uh steering angle sensor uh it says keep the steering wheel in a neutral position when driving straight ahead then touch start it's the first one i've ever seen where we've actually had to have it dynamically calibrated i guess if you will so we'll pull out here i guess we're probably ought to go out on the husband i don't know if we could just pull the head here in the parking lot or if it actually has to be driven i'm gonna pull out here drop her and drive keep the steering wheel in keep that the keep that the steering wheel is in the neutral position when driving straight ahead and touch start so i'll keep her okay so the steering wheel straight right there i'll hit start it says waiting for your operation now adjusting complete so i guess that's it <laughs> Okay, well, let's go around the block. The tire pressure lights out. The left front tire was a little bit low. The airbag light is out. That's even better. Steering wheel straight while we put it back on where it was. That's good. So I guess we're all done. So we'll head back. She's all clean and green now, folks. Whoa, where's, what do I do with the key? We got the key for the lady. Got the airbag light fixed. Blew up her tire, it's only a couple pounds low. And then uh, cleared all the codes out of it. So she should be happy, I'm thinking. And you guys should be happy. There's some fiddly stuff there on that connector and sometimes that's kind of frustrating because you know I did look and service data obviously before I did the job to see if we're going to run any hiccups and just to kind of get the overall topology of how things are going to come apart and that's usually what I do and they didn't mention anything about any kind of funny business connector or anything really sometimes Nissan service data can leave a little to be desired some of your best service data out there I think is Chrysler GM, Hyundai, Kia, they're all really good. Toyota's really good. A little more confusing than some. Uh, you know, theirs, you gotta really kind of pop around. Um, but the best service data, I would say, is, is Chrysler, Hyundai, Kia, and then GM in that order. They're my favorites. Uh, a lot of them, uh, very in-depth how the systems work typically and you know little nuances like that connector perhaps sometimes but not always um, and I've always really never liked Nissan service data in my opinion and we're all entitled to those whether you like it or not and what I would like is if you go down in that comment section and give me your opinion on this video down there Insta, Facebook you guys know what to do folks and uh, just remember viewers if I can do it you can do it. Thanks for watching.